Good evening and welcome to a more detailed upgrade update on the QR Demo Tracks Revitalization Scheme. Clever name, I know. But we are in for a lot of explaining. So if you have the attention span of a goldfish, you can skip towards these timestamps that I will be placing within the video. So first thing we're going to start off with is the implementation of four aspect signals in AWS. So we have a signal here, uh, WJ5, capable of displaying red, yellow, double yellow and green. This is the final signal in the four aspect um, allocation. So after this signal, everything will be threes. So we have the entrance here. This is the last three before we enter fours as such. Now, because we have a massive signaling update, one of the things we should go over is the implementation of DTC. So we have our unwired route marker, which means we have no overhead wires to contend with. And if we continue along this track here, we have our DTC territory sign, which means you stop at this signal, fill out your DTC form. Obviously, if you're doing multiplayer, you can do that. Um, if not, you know, leave it up to your imagination. So we have our DTC here, and then once, you know, if we're playing multiplayer, someone will be dispatch. Once someone, once dispatch gives you the all clear, you can continue on until the very first board, which is here. You'll be going into Wallaby Beach. So we put invisible signals here just for the um, computer controlled trains. So the AI driver trains. So the location board will obviously be telling you um, what territory you're going into next. So on this end we have Wallaby Beach. On the other end we have West Junction. And then obviously when we're going into Wallaby Beach, um, this section is, I think it's called Dunnan, I think it is. Might have, a, might have a double check. So let's have a look. Yes, done. So everything works. I've triple tested it. Um, I've yet to try with AI trains, but we know that it works. So with our regional stations, I probably won't be doing too much to them. Um, but what I have done is just added these faded QR um, station signs which can be downloaded from the download station. So if we continue on, our next territory is Moorcroft. Um, this one wasn't in the original version of the map up on the DLS, so I've had to improvise and come up with some random names for random places. Continuing up. So one thing you should know is that pieces of the track here, such as this one, have paint issues, that's just um, legacy textures uh, screwing with the PBR, so a run over with the paintbrush will fix that, so we just get the um, paint, so grass A, B, turn down the radius and paint it. Instant fix. So we'll be getting onto that later. So, to continue working correctly with um, the DTC, I've chosen to close this track here with a no rail access so it shows up on your map. So we have no access here and no access here. This entire section of line is obsolete. It doesn't need to exist. So that's why there's no point motor here because it's automatically set to go left. So if we keep going through, we have our next set of DTCs, which is entering Wallaby Beach, as we are well aware. This is Moorcroft. I've yet to decide if we want this to be grain, coal, or gypsum. We need, if it's going to be gypsum, we need a uh, a flat car on the download station, otherwise it won't work. So continuing along, our next section is Wheaton. 
Now, Wheaton was already part of the original map, so there's no reason to worry about that. We have our no rail access on the other side, so anything, anything along this section of line here doesn't matter. No trains will be running on here regardless, and I might plant a couple trees in the middle to prove my point. So we have uh, Wheaton coming up here. This is a relatively straight section of track, so we shouldn't have any accidents. Uh, Moorcroft. So I'm, I'm sure you're, you're seeing the pattern with um, the DTC boards. So what we have as well, if we go back into suburbia, over here. I am in the process of signalling the mine. So I'm adding feathers, I'm doing gantries. Everything you need will be here. Um, if we do release this, what when we do release this route, we will have to add a dependency note to the pack as well, saying this is where you can download dependencies. So you can get these from Discord at the moment, and I'll put a link to the server below. After this, anything within this section here has already been working on. Um, all I need to do is um, start naming the uh, signals. We have our electric depot here. And we'll be getting rid of these signs here because we don't need them. Um, we do have the City Train Network Electric Rolling Stock Depot signs. These are pretty cool. The only issue is that um, trains doesn't do shit the easy way, so you've got to really put a lot of empty space to make the text line up. That's another thing we can cover as well, um, getting text to line up on station signs. So if we grab our nine plus station sign, just name a random station off the top of my head. Just go Billy Bong. You'll notice that it sits a little off to the left, you just gotta add a couple of spaces after it. And it should sit quite neat. It's painfully simple and easy to do. So um QRN Renameable Depot, that's not that one, we want the QR National. This is the one we'll be replacing. So we've got that. Uh, what do we, what else do we have? Um, oh, of course, we have these. These are handy for those who are modeling suburban car parks. Uh, funny story about this, um, I was relying off of photos to get this right before I realized that I had a uh, PDF stating this is exactly what I had. So these these ones don't have the same sort of issue as the station signs. You can type as long as the name if you want. We'll go Eagle Junction. A G L E Junction. And it looks just about right. Uh, the longer the name, the cooler it looks. South Mountains. Absolutely amazing. We've got two versions of these. We have a uh, QR City Train version and a Queensland Transport version. We've also got the updated ones over here. If we turn that around, these are TransLink um, park and ride facility signs. Um, what's really funny is these conditions of entry at the bottom. Um, I typed that out all by hand because I'm a stickler for truth. These ones are relatively simple. Um, you type it out, if it doesn't sit, that's fine, but if it does, it's amazing. So these ones work with most, oh, sorry, these ones work with most stations, station, um, if not, a couple spaces will do the trick. Uh, it doesn't currently work with long stations. because we have overhang, but if you uh, if you abbreviate it, works almost. So 
so that's that. Um, we're currently in the process as well of replacing um, these crossings here. So I just picked one and hope for the best. Um, we're in the process of replacing these crossings here because the reason why these ones have such a huge issue is because they are always ringing. Uh, for some reason we don't have audio on our desktop, which is strange. So we're not going to go into full detail on why that's bad. We might have audio if we go into driver mode, that might help. See, even when the crossing is activated, it's still ringing, which is honestly quite annoying. So uh, we've been replacing those with some American TRC crossing signs um, near Timberton. So we just um, go towards Timberton and have a look around here. Been replacing them with a the much easier on the eyes level crossings. I'll quickly set up a diesel just to show you how it works. Just place that, that. Just get it to drive. up real quick just to give it more of a run um, obviously when the time comes the crossings will activate and it'll be a lot easier to simulate realism for this map rather than crossings that constantly ring I haven't currently got sound set up on this. So, as you can see, crossing comes down. <laughs> Cars don't stop because I haven't added the um, traffic stopper yet. But, they go down. And then obviously, if the traffic stops. which I'm not in control of, which is probably why it stopped. But, um, yeah, train passes, the gates are still down. I think the gates got a little too early. in the lumber mill is obviously what you saw on the other video a cattle a cattle crate um, st stabling area sorry I got the hiccups then a uh, cattle crate stabling area um, nothing overly fancy it's just a single track with cattle track with a cattle train on it um, we did add a turntable so uh, any units doing like lumber or anything like that they have um, a spot to park and a spot to turn around um, as you're aware fully signaled so we've got these shunt signals all over the place we have a stop signal here telling you to contact the shunt master or control for permission to proceed um, naturally we can't let you run on a section of track you're not allowed to run on, so that's why we've got these danger panels here. And here. We've got the unwired marker, and all in all, there's just a lot of change. So we're gonna be going through and finishing up, but at the very most, my main um, priority is trees and crossings. So a quick look at the yard real quick. Um, we will be replacing these signs because we really don't need them. Um, I'm in the process of finishing these up. Uh, we do have this section here signalled up. So if we go towards the rear of the crossing, jump into an EMU and we'll show you exactly 
uh, what bits are fixed and what bits aren't. So this is Mary something station. I've really got to add the signs for this. I'm just going to continue up. Yeah, one through four. We've also got L zero over here, which is you're going into the left yard, but you are converging into the right yard, mainly for shunting. That is a rare, that's a rare one, so we won't bother with that one. So you've got your left, your left, and your right. Um, we have a um, suburban network rail sign. Super simple. Um, yep, yeah, railway parade. And so we will be going through here and then we will converge onto the right. And this is as far as we've signalled up, so BL0A. Um, certain signal people will be losing their absolute shit because they didn't do it right, but it's funny. So, obviously you won't be doing 50k an hour for a train yard, but for demonstration purposes we will be. I forgot I didn't convert that to mono. Ow. Uh, these crossings here, they're okay, because they go down on their own, um, and they don't constantly ring throughout the day. So we've got our, um, our signal here, which we will be stopping at. helps too. So everything's going well. Um, everything's going pretty smooth. So the plan from here is to um, get all the signaling done, as I've said earlier. Get the signaling done. Get the um, crossings fixed. These ones are alright, these ones can stay. Um, and then as well get the paint done as well. I think this one was Mary Vale, which might be a parody of Mary Valley. I think. Yeah, I was right, Mary Vale. So I will have to add station signs to that. But in the long run, everything is silky smooth. So that's a more in-depth update. Um, thank you for spending at least 19 minutes of me rambling. Um, this will be coming out soon. We don't have a date on it yet. It just, there's a lot to fix. So thought I'd give you like maybe a halfway mark sort of preview, and, and then we can see where we go from there. Thank you for watching. Feel free to download the content off the DLS. Uh, word of warning though, our website has been deactivated because there's no point having a website when everything's up on the download station anyways. So if you're searching the download station, search under author death 2018 Don't ask why that is my name. I forgot why I've made it my name. And I'd love to see what you use with our content. So final farewells. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. This channel needs a little bit of love because... Honestly, it really doesn't need a lot of love. We hardly use it. Um, this is our backup plan in case someone, one, son of us gets uh, banned from Facebook. So, then again, thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next update.